Longview Packhouse grew from an Italian family's orchard business that began in the late 1800s. It's now a combined packhouse and cool store. Four years ago, a fire destroyed the packhouse, leaving the Cacciopoli family with a difficult decision to make. Michael Cacciopoli, site manager at Longview, explains. If we went back 30 years, it was just paddocks. There was a trucking yard here, and the dad brought the 20 acres of the home block off Dave Walker and put crops in, followed by apples. In 2005, um, we had a fire and uh, gutted the place. And um, after that, uh, we decided to rebuild and with what we've got here now. Starting from scratch again was a big decision, and the big decision was, is the industry viable? We tossed and turned with that for two or three months, and we had a short window to make a decision to get the plant in time for the following year. So we decided to run with it. Some days Dad wishes he didn't, but I think over the last couple of years, it's proved that it, it probably was the right decision. We built the pack house ourselves after the fire. Then we, a year later, we sold the pack house to the cool store group, which is next door, uh, which we owned a, a large shareholding in. And um, just to give us probably a more sustainable business going forward between the two groups. The growers are about 50% shareholding in the company. And uh, that's something we're trying to grow because the hardest thing with um, post-harvest facility is having that continuity of supply. And if we can attract more volume from the shareholder base, it's, it's going to be a, a stronger model going forward. We did try to future-proof ourselves. The, our focus was putting in blemish technology um, to cut down all the manual grading, followed by uh, robot pelletizing to get rid of all of the, the heavy lifting and the human element for stacking. This shed would be the most modern in the southern hemisphere in terms of labour-saving devices and grading of fruit accurately with computer. This blemish grading is uh, built in New Zealand by Compaq. It saves us 90% of grading, and, and most importantly, there's a labour-saving, but we can grade a grower's fruit very close to exactly what it is. So the grower gets a good deal, and the marketer gets a good deal. In the blemish grading, we've got colour cameras and infrared cameras, and they're uh, photographing each piece of fruit, maybe 30, 40 shots of each piece of fruit as it goes through. So, yeah, we can change the specs with the mapping that we have with the software. So each variety, we have maps that look at russet, colour, sunburn, say, for instance. Um, yeah, it, the mapping is takes some time, but once your maps are set up, they're there for season after season. A very labour-intensive part of running a pack house is stacking cartons. We do about three-quarters of a million of them. So by stacking robotically, we get a nice straight pallet, and we save eight to ten labour units. It gives us a uniform product and just allows us to maintain the shed at uh, a low labour rate. A shed normally this size would run 110 people. We're running 65, 60%. But it's, it's more than just saving on labour, it gives us a nice tight workforce. People like working here and that has spin-offs that are hard to calculate. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.